Hey peeps, it's Andrew Khan. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with equivalent exchange. And since we're going to the neither anyway, I might as well show off the neither ores. But first, uh, I'm going to get settled in a little bit more. I mean, it's just not home until you've hung up your signs. So, punching wood. Oops, nope, punching trees. Gives me wood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, there's more. Punching wood gives me crotch pain. Hmm. Now that I've said that. <laughs> that hurt. Anyway, to get started with the equivalent exchange, you're going to need about five diamonds. Now, three of those you're going to need for diamond pick. Uh, use that to get a bunch of obsidian. You'll need about 14 to get started. And then you're going to have to jump into a nether portal. So here we are in the nether. So because of a new mod, which I thought was pretty awesome, uh, called Neither Ores, you get ores in the Neither. Imagine that. I think this one's ten. Let's see. Uh, yep, ten ore. I don't really know... Oh, shit! What did I ever do to you? Maybe they don't like it when you uh, take their ores. I don't know. That, that was odd. I didn't do anything to them. Anyway, I don't know what all ores there are in the neither. Whoa! What is going on around here? I think some of this is trapped or something. This is weird. Okay. <laughs> it's not like I've actually bothered to mine any of this before. Alright, well anyway, hopefully I can get a sentence out before dying. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. I don't know what all different ores there are in the neither. I suspect all of them. Uh, I haven't found di- Ugh, got to speak. Hadn't found diamond or anything. Whoa. These guys are armored. What the fudge? <laughs> I don't want to piss them off. Oh, this one's got uh, leather on. Okay. <laughs> Please don't attack me. I, 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 I've done nothing to you. I'm innocent. Innocent, I tell you. Anyway, uh, you're going to have to get some glowstone while you're in here, because uh, you're going to need at least four for equivalent exchange. Well, I'm going to get some extra, though, of course. Oh, God, these guys sound like zombies. Well, they are zombies, I suppose. That's weird. Alrighty. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't think they like it when you take their ores. <laughs> oh, crap. That one's in gold. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. About died. Oh, I'm running. Uh, I forget where I'm running to. This way? Yes. I'm getting out of here while I still can. This place is getting dangerous. Man, they don't like it when they you take their ores. I know there's some coal over here somewhere. I got I grabbed hold of some earlier. It's just the same as the other, but black. I think it was down here. Well, this might be something besides. What is this? Probably more tin. More tin, yep. A whole bunch of tin. It's most of what I've found so far. I found some coal in here once when I dug this place out. I got that back at the house, though. Oh, well, I'll show you there. Whew! We miraculously made it back to the house in one piece. So, I got some of uh, these neither ores, and uh, you can just throw these things into the furnace like normal. Now, the neither coal here does not break into regular coal. Uh, so, if you pop this, it just pops into a coal block, basically. Now, to turn that into regular coal, you pretty much gotta cook it. And it should go into regular coal. That's pretty cool. Now your tin, or any other kind of block you've got, will turn into basically the earth version of uh, 
that uh, type of ore, then you gotta smelt it again. So, uh, your neither tin ore will turn into tin ore blocks again, and you'd have to smelt it again to get your uh, ingots. So, let's get started with equivalent exchange. To do that, you're gonna need some redstone, glowstone dust, four obsidian, some stone, and uh, at least one diamond, uh, after you've got your obsidian and your diamond pickaxe anyway. So, first thing we gotta make is a philosopher's stone. Takes four redstone dust, four glowstone dust, and a diamond. And there's your philosopher's stone. Now this thing's kind of neat. It's basically a portable crafting table, if you can figure out how to use it. Hmm. It's supposed to be, anyway. Hmm. Eh. Things happen to me for going in unprepared. So, with this philosopher's stone, if you hit C, you get a crafting table. So basically a portable crafting table. It does other things too. So uh, say if I want to change this stone to something else. Just right click. Turn it into... Uh, well, you can switch it between stone and smooth stone. I also believe you can switch dirt uh, into other things too. Yep, dirt to sand. So uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, there's one other thing you can do with this, if I can find a, another mob sitting around here. Uh, sheep might do the trick. Let's see, what was the button for this? R, okay. Yep, uh, if you hit R, you can shoot a little thing at a mob and change it into something else. Uh, you can do this for peaceful mobs to get certain kinds of food, basically. Or if you did it to hostile mobs, you can get certain different hostile mobs, like slimes if you really needed them. I could use a little food. Come here, Biggie. Yeah, yeah. Wink, wink. Now, careful with transmuting different animals into other ones. It uses a glowstone for each shot, I believe. So, other uses for this philosopher's stone is uh, you can throw things in the crafting table with it, and sometimes you can change things into other things. So, gold bar out of uh, eight uh, ingots of iron, or take your gold bars and change them back into iron. I think you can also get uh, diamonds this way, too, if you want to go ahead and make enough of these. I think you need four. Uh, now, most... I don't know for sure, but this particular functionality may have gotten removed from uh, a future version of this. I'm not entirely sure. The wiki was not the clearest. Sometimes things are clear as mud. Uh, let's see if this gives me diamonds. Yep, you can get diamonds this way too. Uh, it takes a whole bunch of iron, but you do you can get your diamonds that way. Now, uh, the other thing this thing is going to be used for is to get a uh, a tablet of sorts. So you're going to need some stone, obsidian, and your philosopher's stone. And uh, take your four stones, stick it there. Four obsidian, stick it in the uh, corners here. And this will give you a transmutation tablet. Now this thing's pretty neat because uh, it makes it a lot easier to change one item to another. So where do I want to put this? I'm probably going to stick some of this stuff over here. Put it on the floor right there. Now, I'd like to teach this thing certain things, like how to make a diamond, for instance. You just uh, throw it in here, or down there if you want to go ahead and burn it, which I could. And uh, that will teach it something, and if you burn it, It'll give you your EMC value, so pretty much uh, you can change one thing into something else if you really wanted to. Um, for instance, an iron ingot uh, has a certain amount of EMC, 256 apparently. So if I wanted to, I could take this diamond and transfer it into a whole, whole, whole bunch of iron, or gold, or anything else I decide to teach this thing. So I would like my diamond back. Thank you. Uh, you can also teach it fuels. Now this will be a separate set of things that uh, it learns. Uh, I don't think you can directly transfer f fuel into objects, uh, but uh, you can change different types of fuels around too if you really want. Now what I'm going to do for at least now is I'm going to change this into... I'm going to pretty much get some uh, some diamonds out of this because I'm going to need a bunch of diamonds for what I need to do. But that's going to take a lot of stuff. 
to do, because, say, that uh, stone was worth one. <laughs> so, uh, let me go look through all my old crap. Okay, I picked up some old crap. Let's see what stuff works. Now, this thing's worth, oh, actually, a decent amount. Go throw these in there. Uh, arrows. Yeah, those weren't worth too little. I wonder if mod items work. No. Rubberwood. Rubberwood did, but the covers didn't. Huh. Alright. Pork chop. <laughs> I get food out of it. That's funny. Gold nuggets. Oh, that was actually worth a bit. I might be able to actually get a diamond out of this soon. Well, all the bits and pieces don't work. How about ten? Yeah, ten works. And so does copper. Alrighty. Uh, let's see, uh, neither rack. Yeah, of course that would work, it's vanilla. Mm -hmm. Wood. Uh, bread. <laughs> flax seeds. Yeah, even the flax seeds work, that's cool. Uh, this, I'm most of the way there. Mm, I wonder how much stuff this thing can learn before it starts losing recipes. Uh, I'm going to throw in a bunch of this stuff in here. I only need a little over 8,000 to get this thing going. Uh, let's see. Ooh, uh, I wonder how much lapis does. Oh, that actually was quite a bit. Oh, well, that gets me over my uh, 8,000 or so. So, what about sapphires? Uh, wow, that was like almost 1,000 just by itself. Now, this tungsten ore is supposed to be super rare. Whoa! <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> Now, uh, I'm not going to use this particular thing very much because, well, as you can obviously see, it's super overpowered. Uh, a lot of people don't use equivalent exchange just because of the extreme overpoweredness. Uh, I will occasionally use it to pull out a handful of things if I'm really low on something really rare. Or if I got a really big project I need like a whole crap load of lapis for or something like that. But uh, in general, I'm probably not going to use this too much for too many things. I, I like to go mostly, well, pretty much all legit, really. But uh, if I need to have a whole bunch of diamonds for uh, a special project that, you know, for the video, I need uh, a bunch of diamonds for something. I don't know what. Who, who knows what it could be. I, I will use it a little bit, but I'm going to try to shy away from it. But I will try to show off some of the other features of it as I go on. Too. It's for science and for the videos. So, uh, let's see. Next thing was to make some kind of a chest. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. Ooh. Let me take a look at the recipe. Now, this was a special uh, chest. See if I can find it. There we go. Alchemical chest. This thing's got a huge amount of inventory space. But the thing ain't cheap at all. Whatsoever. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna need like six of these. So, first things up, I need to make three different kinds of dusts. These things aren't that expensive. So, let's see. The green dust. Alright. Oh, well, this is simple enough. One charcoal and eight cobblestone. Okay, well, let's see. I'd have to make some charcoal up. Alright, got my charcoal. Just gonna throw that in there with a bit of cobble. And. Ah, covalence dust. Green stuff. Alright, next one, I believe. Well, I don't remember what color it was, but uh, took some redstone and iron. Alright. And this is blue. Okay. Took. A little bit more than just one, I think. Oh well. Uh, and the next one was diamond. Now this one is expensive. Uh, I think I had to use regular coal, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, one diamond, regular coal. Just one. Gives you 40 of this stuff. Now, back to this recipe. Oi. Valence dust, one of each type. A diamond. Two stone. Two iron. Go ahead and make this chest. Alright, this will only take a moment. Now, I really like these, uh, this alchemical chest, because it's so huge! Uh, very, very nice. Uh, I'm gonna probably make six, and that'll probably do me for quite some time. Uh, I don't remember exactly which way I was supposed to throw these in, but uh, we'll find out. And I needed 
two regular stone. Okay, I guess this was the right way. Can I switch these? Nope. Gotta go in that way. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and throw down one of these. Uh, first one right here. That is a lot of storage space. I can move some of this crap out of here. Alright, uh, now there's something interesting you can put in the alchemical chest. I'm gonna go figure out what it was called, though. Alright, here it is. Talisman of Repair. Now, this thing I find pretty neat, because uh, if you throw this thing in the alchemical chest with anything that's, you know, a bit damaged, it'll repair it over a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one of these up. Uh, paper, two string, uh, see what I got over here. Oh, two string anyway. Alright, got my stuff. Throw paper in there. Two string here. And I think the blue stuff had to go in the center. Uh, I don't remember which blue stuff. And, uh, throw it in there like that. Okay, yeah, that was it. Now, uh, you can throw this thing in your inventory, and it'll use up a bit of, uh, covalence dust. Ooh, I think it used a bunch of this. To, uh, heal some stuff up, but I think uh, I read it had to be closer to death, basically. Like, when an item was about to break, it would use, uh, well, it would repair stuff for you, but if you throw it in an alchemical chest and uh, you throw any of this thing, this stuff in here, it'll uh, heal right up. Uh, it takes a little bit for things like diamond, but uh, it heals like one unit of damage per tick, and there's 20 game ticks a second, I believe. And it'll do armor, too. Uh, let's see, I got some armor on. Throw this saw in here. Yeah, alright. Yeah, my pants are already good. Shovels are good now. And, uh, yeah, this is how I've been keeping some of my stuff in one piece for a while, trying to reserve uh, a little bit of resources. Quite nice. Okay, three, four, five of these things. Huh, I guess I made six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, I'll save one for later or something. Alright, chest in the chest. wonder how that works. Chest deception! Well, that took a while to reorganize everything. Uh, I'm gonna grab a hold of a few things and uh, stop by the local village and uh, see if they, they want anything. See if I can get their project started. So, uh, this thing is pretty well organized and everything, and if, uh, say if you get things out of order, uh, you can reorganize this simple with a click of a button. And if you click this thing twice, it'll even stack stuff that can stack. Uh, you can also uh, click these other buttons here to do different things. So this one's sort in rows, uh, and this one here is, what does it say, columns? Yep. I can do it different ways, and then this one's just default, and it throws everything in there however it feels it's the right way to do. Uh, so, let's go ahead and head off to that village. I know they got a little bit of a project going on that uh, they just need a little bit extra push for, and uh, that'll be all right. Wow, I really love flying with this Pegasus. It's so fast and awesome. And uh, fortunately, this little village is right over the next hill. Quite easy to get to. Now, I walked around a ways and explored some more of this map and found several more villages. Uh, but uh, they're super simple and all of the same culture. They were like uh, English or French or something. And, uh, alright, these guys still wanted... Oh, looks like they finished that old construction. And now they want a Suic? I don't know what that is. They want a bunch of cobblestone. Oh, well, this guy's just the chieftain. All right, well, let's take a look, see what they'd finished. I guess whatever that was, it's done. Some sort of temple. And, uh, where's the lady? Come talk to me, I want to sell you crap. Hmm, well, apparently these guys, uh, rest a lot, or occasionally. And they don't do, uh, much else when they're resting. But I did find out some other interesting things about this mod. First of all, I hit Z and it brings up this little list here, and it shows all the different cultures, and uh, my reputation with them, and how fluent I am with the language. That's why I can actually uh, understand what some of these people say now. For instance, I can walk down here. This person will say, hey, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> oh, Spidey. What are you after me? It's daytime. Jeez, Spidey. Go away. Anyway, eh, there's something else neat I found. Now, up here where it says Map of the Village, right-click on it. 
Let's click on the sign, and uh, here's a little map of the village. Now, if you can hover over any of these things, it'll tell you what these things are. And, uh, hmm, Royal Ball Court. Axman's House. Uh, Cistern, yeah, I've seen that. Stone Mine. Man... Market? Huh. Okay. Uh, a grove, a chicken farm, a lower home, a corn farm, another grove. Well, uh, we'll look around at these in a moment. Over here, you can right-click on this sign, and it tells you all the population, all their names, what they are. Uh, let's see. Here is a project that they want to work on. Kaba, Kaba. Uh, don't know if it's specified, but I think it said something. Uh, oh, well. All right, here's another sign with a population, I guess. <laughs> and here's another project, chicken farm lacking resources. Do they got like two projects going on at the same time? I'm not sure. Uh, bunch of stuff. Oh, now you come back. All right, here's cobblestone for whatever this is. Uh, chicken farm, apparently. I thought they already built it. Maybe they want to upgrade it or finish it off. And I would sell them the cobblestone if I was allowed. But nobody comes over here to buy my crap. Too busy sleeping, I guess. Now, where'd my horse go? Ah, there you are. Yay! Alright, let's take a look around at this stuff. Over here, there is a cistern, which basically is a uh, hole with water in it. Hmm. Simple enough. Uh, somewhere over here, I think I said there was a stone mine. Maybe it's this thingy up here. Take a look. Whoa. Yeah, I'd say so. Whoa, you rat. Leave me alone. Hey, now. Stop chewing on my wood. Go away. Right. Yep. Uh, I guess that makes lots of sense. Stone mine. Okay. Uh, whoa. Yeah. All right. Here's somebody's house. Chook and X off moon. Alrighty. Oh, got a couple kids. Cool. Eh. Alrighty. Uh, I think this was the ball court, more or less. Now, uh, if you ever studied a little bit of the main culture, uh, they had a little ball game they used to play. They had these little things sticking out the side of the walls, and they had this little hole in the center. They'd take a rubber ball and bounce it back off the wall and try to get through these holes. It was something sort of like tennis. And I guess this might be related. Huh. Or this could be some sort of temple-y thingy. Now here, I think, is what it said a grove was, which in this case, it's basically a tree farm. Uh, over here, there is a regular farm growing maize, which is corn, pretty much. I think this was an empty house so far. Eh. Currently empty, yes. That's funny. <laughs> Double chest. Two chests right next to each other. <laughs> Funny. Be interesting Interesting to get that wonky, glitchy thing in my own house. Here's a chicken coop I showed off uh, probably an episode or two ago. And it's still empty. Uh, maybe they'll finish it off and get some chickens in here. I don't know. Maybe I gotta get some chickens in there myself. And the lag may be lost. Every now and then I get a lag spike. It's not any big deal. Unless I'm near lava. And here is somebody else's house. Oh, they actually got a decent house for being cobble. Whoa. Got enough stuff? Holy crap. <laughs> now, there's another grove here. Uh, not much in it yet. And they're on the edge of a swamp. I wonder if there's any alligators around here. Ooh, there's one. Oh! Crap, 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 crap. No, 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 no. Please don't kill me. These guys are vicious. Whoa, they're huge too. I'm getting away from that. Hey, a bunch of turtles. Flipped him over. Oh, jeez. I don't want none of that. Those guys are dangerous. Oh, my goodness. Might want to stay out of the swamps. You still won't sell it to me. Alright. And this is pretty much the town hall or whatever. And they store all their stuff in here somewhere. 
thought I had access to this stuff. Maybe I had to do something special to get in here. I, I know I was able to get in. Oh, there we go. I guess this is all their current inventory. Well, since I can't sell you anything, I apparently can't put anything in here either. Nor take anything out. Alright. I was going to give you some free junk. Nah. Well, that's pretty much about it for today. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing next episode. <laughs> I guess you just have to come in and find out. I'll see you later.